just got across the border from Hungary to Romania and very narrowly missed having to quarantine for five days at Cluj which would have completely derailed my plans. Um, I'm very fortunate that the border guard indeed had a heart. After 15 minutes of negotiations he decided to let me through. I think the fact that I had my booster jab certainly helped things quite a lot. So I'm just literally over the border at the first petrol station. The drivers have stopped for a cigarettes. I feel immensely relieved and very lucky. There's about four hours left in the journey. Don't have to be able to sleep now because the adrenaline's kind of kicking in. I don't, I'm, I, I don't think it's clear just how close I was to being either turned back around or forced to abandon my plans to travel further and just sit in an apartment for five days. Well. Back on the bus. Now the journey back onto Cluj. It's almost 4 a.m. I think I should get there about 7. So I'm going to continue my sleep if I can. Uh, against all odds, I've arrived in Cluj. Don't know who that fella is. The statue behind me. I don't know what anything is actually. I've just been wandering around aimlessly. I'm homeless until 3 p.m. It's not even 8 a.m. yet. I thought it might have been a good idea to follow some crowds, see where they were going. And I ended up in some like university campus. Um, there's a huge church over there. It's sadly under construction, I'm sure it would look a lot better with all the scaffolding in the crane. So I dropped in for a cappuccino as I charged my phone and a little stroll. A couple of observations so far. It seems like a very student oriented town, so, and as a result, there's an abundance of coffee shops and coffee stalls. It's going to be quiet, most people just walking around on their own uh, silently. Uh, but another observation is every single church building in town simultaneously under construction or maintenance. Didn't even know I was coming to have everything ready for me to look at. It seems as if I probably. The only tourist around right now, but it's still early. Um, I'm still getting to grips with the area. I've got just under six hours before I can check in and drop this pig every bag off. But from what I can gather, at the top of this hill, there's a good view of the city. I love a good city view. Favourite so far is to be the one on Calvary Hill in Nitra, Slovakia. Let's see if this one will rival it. And just like that hill, at the top, is religious crucifix symbolism in the form of statues. So let's see when we get to the top. Well, let's see what it looks like. So it's good to first get to grips with the city by looking at it from a certain vantage point. Remember as if you're Etsy on Assassin's Creed or something. Unlocks the view. Drinking dinner. Oh, nothing. Not much interesting there. Just carry on up to the top. Get a decent view. Let's make it to the top. Put this over here. Another cave. This another alcoholic den. So, this is a view from probably around the halfway point. See cathedral spires. You can see the big cathedral that's under construction that I passed when I first arrived. Should I carry on up this way? Because there's a main set of stairs. I don't know. Yeah. Let's carry on this way. to the main steps. This just seems to wind all the way around when I want to climb to the top. 
I don't want to wind around. Seems to just lead to some benches and whatnot. So, I'm going to go back, climb those steps. Now we have it. Clear views of the looking city. Not bad. Worth the climb, definitely. It's a nice little walk. Let's have a further walk around. Not bad. Now, I'm going to add a beer to enjoy this view with. Oh, wait. I do have a beer to enjoy this view with. One that I bought on the way from a German beer shop. Specialised in just German beers, it was quite good actually. And um, to return the bottle to receive my deposit back, so recycling that's also good. First beer of the day. Oh. Soon, probably grab a bite to eat. I'm going to head back down into the city, probably back into Old Town. Got about three hours left until I can check into my apartment and get rid of this down bag. i very relieved when I can uh, drop that weight. I mean, look at it. You don't be hauling that around the city, do you? All up these stairs. Oh well, soon find out how the apartment is and we'll have a tour of that. I'm sure, it should be fine. Be nice to have a bed to myself, not a bunk bed or a bus seat. Well, I've finished my beer, kept the bottle here in my jogger pocket to so take it back, get my deposit, and do my bit for recycling. And just noticed the state of my joggers now, my shoes. That's from going down the, the path that I should have avoided uh, further down. Looks like clear. Now I definitely need to be checking into my apartment. Uh, haven't showered since Budapest. I am covered in mud and I look like I've been roughing it for weeks. It's only been a day. I would never survive as a vagabond. Slowly make my descent back to the city. Turn my bottle. So I'm back in, in the city. I'm just passing for a street exhibition of archival photographs from the 1989 Romanian Revolution. Some very interesting photographs from the revolution. Like Changed Romania that ousted the communist regime of Chichescu that held them in its grip for so long. All of this happening on the streets of Bucharest in December 1989. Just when you think about it, it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> Only seven years before I was born. A very interesting and powerful display. I'm uh, in the right building here to get into my apartment. I've been instructed to to level seven. I was letting by a delivery man. So I might have went to the complete wrong place, but this is where I was uh, guided to go. It's been snowing outside. And so I'm wet, I should open them and show you out the window when I get to it. My instructions are building A, level 7, apartment 23. So let's check it out, make sure it's right. Yeah. 
<laughs> and we're in. Let's take this thing off now. Let's have a tour of the facilities. I mean, first off, it's bloody big. Bathroom is the first thing you come across. Uh, decent little shower. Spacious enough for uh, my purposes. Plenty of free shower gels here, I like to see that. I like to see some freebies. Vanity kit, not sure what that is, but I like to see it. Plenty of towels, I'm only here for one night. I'm doing me for a lot longer. What have we got on here? Nothing I need. Plenty of room for coats, jackets, plenty of space. Oh my god. That's a nice spacious bed. That's a nice, I don't know if it's clear. Make sure the light comes up. Hey. That's a nice spacious bed. Quite happy with that. Is it comfortable though? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It doesn't feel bad anyway. I'll have to do a proper lie down test. Another spacious wardrobe here. Very good. There's a balcony. We're going to save that until last actually. We're going to save that until last. Um, because I want to see the living room. Oh my god. Look at the size of this. <laughs> wow. To so say I've gone from sharing a 10 bed dorm room with a boisterous, drunken American to then sleeping on a bus and waking up halfway through to be threatened to be ejected from the country before I'd even entered it to go into this. I mean, it's quite the leap and I'm impressed. This is. Yeah, I think this'll do. I think this'll do. <laughs> There's even a desk if I was in a computer. There's another bed. You're joking me, this is a two bed. Yeah, I think this is actually it. So, I was told on the phone yesterday while I was walking around the Jewish quarter of Budapest, uh, I, I, was, I was called by the owner of the property. The room that had, well, the apartment that I'd originally um, booked had problems with the heating and the hot water. Um, so they offered me this room and they even said that it was better. I, don't, I didn't know at the time whether they were just saying that to appease me, but I genuinely think this is much better, much better room. I mean, this is huge. This could, this could host a family. The family could live here full time. Oh, we've got a secret kitchen. Hey, not bad, not bad. Not left as old though. Could have done with a bottle of wine, but... I can't complain too much, can I? We've got plenty of free tea. Probably won't drink it. Uh, even coffee, beans. We've got a proper coffee machine. Microwave. Stove top. Old fashioned kettle. And a normal kettle for when you've actually got time. Uh, how do we get this up? I think it's operated by this up here, is it not? Yep. It is. Let's have a look. Oh my god. Look at the view. I'm speechless actually, this is amazing. I don't think I paid more than 30 quid. I'm really happy with this. This is... Yeah. Yeah, I can do with this. Yeah, we've not got company. 
It's a shame just having this ultimate sin, isn't it? Could host about five people in here. Well impressed. Well impressed. Well, this is my crib for the night and for the bit of tomorrow until I have to check out. Kinda wish I was staying here for the rest of my trip. Oh well. Maybe the other apartments will be just as good. Having showered and got dressed, I feel brand new. Today, it's not looking that way. It's already getting late, it's getting dark. Uh, so that's probably gonna be an end of my filming for today. Shortly, my phone's charged and I finished the coffee I just made. I will think about heading out and probably getting some drinks. Won't be getting dinner just yet. Had a big lunch, still not overly hungry, but a few drinks later and I should be. Anyway. <coughs> That's it for the day. <coughs> <coughs> Strong, drinking black, black coffee because there's no milk. We've got sugar, we've got every type of tea, but no milk. Anyway, yeah, that's it for the day. Um, I'll probably start filming again sometime tomorrow. Cover what we've missed. And then tomorrow night, the dreaded night train from Cluj to Bucharest. First time I will have had a sleeper compartment on a train. Equally excited and anxious. I've heard a lot of bad things. Apparently these trains are Soviet era. Very slow. The rail infrastructure altogether is just um, not very uh, modern. And uh, opportunistic thieves tend to roam them. So, a couple of obstacles to look out for. Should be fun. Well, that's it for me. Good evening. Signing out.